Right, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you, but it'll be in miniature form. I've got a bigger pot. What goes in to the proper Italian sauce? You call bolognese, but we'll call it a sugo. There's the pan. Olive oil. You don't need the extra virgin, not for cooking. Extra virgin is more for salads. There you go. No garlic. You start off, that is a slice off a breast of lamb. Brown it off. Brown that off, peel it off a bit. Hey, I'll notice here what you've got here, your stuff goes in all. You can do your separate, which you can slice it up, you can slice the onion, the carrot, the celery, the leaves, the bay leaf. You can slice it all up. But in the region where my dad comes from, Ascoli, which is on the Adriatic coast between Ancona and Pescara, this is how they do it. Get the clove, stick the clove in the onion, you're not going to lose that then. Stick that in there. Your celery goes in. Your carrots go in. Your bay leaf, salt, pepper, and the celery leaves. You fry all that off a little bit. Fry it all off. Right, it's all off till it's all nice and sweated. A little bit longer than that, you'll see when everything starts going soft. Right, you just have a look when it's more over. And for this one, there'll be a tin of tomatoes. Break them up before you put them in. Break them up, there'll be a tin. For the one I did, I put about, I don't know, about 10, 11 tins in. Bring that to the boil. Now, for the tomatoes, you add half a spoon of sugar and you ask sugar now obviously the girls with the swimming swimming slimming world they wouldn't put it in there you go now the sugar takes away the acidity of the tomatoes now you don't want no passata you don't want no paste you want nothing else that's all you want but remembering this will be a big a big dish a big pan full Put it on, put the lid on, put a little lid there, put the lid on, simmer it, keep having a look. I'd say, if you got, depending on the size of your meat, however long it would take you to make a stew, that's how you gauge your meat. When your meat's cooked, the pasta's cooked. The last 15 minutes, take the lid off and let it boil down. Now I'm just going to show you, I'll bring this over and I'll just show you what happens now. Now, that's the demo pot. This one is my pot. I'm going to need a bigger spoon for this. Now that is my piece of lamb. What we do with that, or what they do in Italy with that, they'll throw that in with the pasta when the pasta's cooked. The pasta will get all the sauce off that, and all you'll be left with is a nice piece of lamb. And you eat that after your pasta. Now look what you got here, what you take out. Your carrot. Your celery. Another piece of carrot. Basically you take everything out. And all you're left with is a sauce with all them flavours in. And that's what you saw on your telly telly. Put your mince in if you want, but buy a mincer. Don't buy mince off the butcher. It's crap. It's rubbish. Don't buy mince. If it was any good, he wouldn't mince it up. He'd leave it whole and sell it for £10 a pound instead of selling it as mince for £2 a pound. So, today's tip. No passata. No paste. Tomatoes. Reduce them down. And that's the sauce what you get. Homemade tagliatelle, which I'll be putting on tomorrow. This will be on tonight, I think. But the homemade tagliatelle, I'll show you that one tomorrow. Okay? There's about five tips there for you, you know.